Hi friends, welcome to Rank Us Up. Now today in this video, we are going to learn few problems in profit and loss. In the previous videos, already we have learned few problems in averages and time and work. And our upcoming video will be some more problems in averages. That is averages part 2. If anyone has any particular doubt in averages, put it in the comment. Not only averages, any doubts in time and work also, you can put in a comment so that we will be discussing those questions in the next videos. Now, let us come to this topic profit and loss. Now, here we are going to discuss few models in profit and loss. Now, whenever we talk about profit and loss, this topic profit and loss, we have to think like a shopkeeper. Now, generally in our day to day life, who will be talking about profit and loss? Definitely the shopkeepers. No customer will be thinking about profit and loss. So think like a shopkeeper. Now the basic points let us discuss. Suppose I say by selling an article there is a profit of 25%. Now whenever we say profit, profit percentage should always be calculated on cost price. So when I say there is a profit of 25%, it should be 25% of cost price. Now what is the simple meaning of this? The simple meaning of this is, if the cost price of the article is 100, the profit earned on by selling that article is 25. So the selling price should be 100 plus 25, which is 125. So if we can think like this, we can solve this particular problem in a very simple way. And one more point here is the discount. Discount is always calculated on marked price. Now, whenever you go to a shop, shopkeeper offers discount. Discount on which price? Definitely on the price labeled on that article. That labeled price is called as marked price. Now, let us discuss how to answer this question in a very simple way. Let us see how to answer this particular question. A shopkeeper marks his goods at 40% above the cost price. Find his profit percentage if he sells the goods after giving a discount of 20%. Now here he is saying that a shopkeeper marks his goods at 40% above the cost price. So unless and until we know what is the cost price, we cannot decide what is the marked price. So let us assume the cost price of the article is 100. So when I say the cost price of the article is 100, this marked price is 40% more than 100. Now what is 40% more than 100? 140. Now he is selling these goods after offering a discount of 20%. Now we know that discount is always given on marked price. Now what is 10% of 140? Now whenever you want to find 10%, just divide that value with 10. Now what is 10% of 140? 140 divided by 10, that is 14. So 20% should be 2 times of that. So that is 28. So the discount offered should be 28. Marked price minus the discount will give us the selling price. 140 minus 28 is 110. 12. So the cost price of the article is 100, the selling price of the article is 112. So what is the profit earned by the shopkeeper? 12%. So this is how we can answer this particular question in a very simple way. For more videos on aptitude, please subscribe to our channel Rank Us Hub. Now all of you please take a challenge and try to answer this question in 10 seconds. A shopkeeper marks his goods at 20% above the cost price. Find his profit percentage if he sells the goods after giving a discount of 5%. Take a time of 10 seconds and try to answer it. Now let's see the solution for this. Now a shopkeeper is marking his goods at 20% above the cost price. So assume the cost price of the article is 100. So marked price becomes 120. And the discount he is offering is 5%. Now what is 10% of 120? 12. 5% half of it. That is 6. So 120 minus 6 is 114. So the cost price of the article is 100. Selling price of the article is 114. So what is the profit earned? 14%. 114 minus 100. 14%. So how do you do it as a problem here when you write it? Assume the cost price of the article is 100. Once again we are discussing it. 
कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द आर्टिकल इज हंड्रेड ही इज मार्किंग इज गुड्स एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट अब कॉस्ट प्राइस सो द मार्क प्राइस ऑफ द आर्टिकल शुड बी वन ट्वेंटी एंड द डिस्काउंट ही इज ऑफरिंग इज फाइव परसेंट टेन परसेंट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी टेन परसेंट इज नथिंग बट डिवाइडिंग द वैल्यू विथ टेन सो वन ट्वेंटी बाई टेन इज ट्वेल्व फाइव परसेंट शुड बी हाफ ऑफ इट इट इज सिक्स सो द डिस्काउंट ही इज ऑफरिंग इज सिक्स रुपीज सो द सेलिंग प्राइस शुड बी वन ट्वेंटी माइनस सिक्स विच इज वन फोर्टीन सो वॉट इज द प्रॉफिट अर्न बाय द शॉपकीपर वन फोर्टीन माइनस हंड्रेड फोर्टीन परसेंट सो ही अर्न अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फोर्टीन परसेंट नाउ लेट इज रुकिन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ए डिजॉनेस सेलर प्रोफेस टू सेल इज गुड्स एट कॉस्ट प्राइस सो ही सेइंग दैट ही सेलिंग इज गुड्स एट कॉस्ट प्राइस फाइंड हिज प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज इफ ही यूजेस ए फॉल्स वेट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड ग्राम्स फॉर एवरी किलोग्राम now here generally we know that if the shopkeeper sells the goods at cost price definitely he will not get any profit so in order to get profit here what is he doing he is using a false weight of 800 grams for every kilogram now generally speaking who will know the answer for this particular question if i talk about general happening in day to day life definitely will the customer know the answer for this question definitely customer doesn't know the answer for this question if he knows that the shopkeeper is stating he will bang him so who should know the answer for this question shopkeeper so whenever you answer the questions in profit and loss that's why we say think like a shopkeeper don't think like a customer now here we know that he is using a false weight now you are the shopkeeper you are using a false weight of 800 grams for every kilogram that is instead of selling 1000 grams 1 kilogram is nothing but 1000 grams so instead of selling 1000 grams you are selling 800 grams now how many grams is your profit so definitely your profit should be 200 grams on how many grams now this is where all the students think like a customer and say that it's 1000 grams but if you think like a shopkeeper tell me logically if you are a shopkeeper will you calculate profit or loss on the quantity what you have sold or on the quantity present with you definitely you will be calculating profit or loss on the quantity whatever you have sold definitely not on the quantity present with you because unless and until you sell the goods you cannot decide whether you got profit or loss so profit or loss in terms of quantity is calculated on the quantity sold so how many grams did the shopkeeper sell or how many grams did you sell as a shopkeeper you did not sell 1000 grams you sold only 800 grams so your profit 200 grams will be on 800 grams percentage whenever we say percentage it should be into 100 200 ones 200 fours for 25s so you will be getting a profit of 25% now let us look into the next question now we know that in competitive exams the main part is time how quickly we can solve the problem matters so if we can solve the problems orally that saves a lot of time for us so all of you take a time of 10 seconds and try to answer this particular question orally a dishonest seller professes to sell his goods at cost price find his profit percentage if he uses a false weight of 1200 grams for every 1.5 kilograms 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 hope all of you have answered this question very simple question we know that here he is selling his goods at cost price so whatever the profit he gets he should get by cheating now how is he cheating in weight how many grams should he actually sell 1.5 kilograms which is 1500 grams so instead of selling 1500 grams he is selling 1200 grams so how many grams is his profit 300 grams orally 300 visualize on how many grams this is a very important point on the goods sold or on the quantity sold what is the quantity he sold 1200 grams so 300 by 1200 which is nothing but 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is 25% so the profit here is 25% so let us look into the next model of question here in profit and loss 
Selling price of 25 articles is equal to cost price of 20 articles. Find the profit or loss percent in the transaction. Now this model of question you can definitely expect in almost all competitive exams. Now here what is given to us? Selling price of 25 articles is equal to cost price of 20 articles and we are asked to find the profit or loss percent in the transaction. Now generally most of the students we try to solve this question by converting this article into price and answering it making it a little bit lengthy. Now instead of converting this into price how to answer this question directly in terms of quantity. Now we know that in terms of quantity profit percentage or loss percentage is calculated on the quantity sold. So think like this selling price of 25 articles it is equal to cost price of 20 articles that is the money you are spending to buy 20 articles to buy 20 articles is same as the money you get back by selling 25 articles. So definitely are you losing or are you gaining? The money you are spending to purchase 20 articles is same as the money you get by selling 25 articles. So you are selling more articles than what you purchased. So definitely you will be in a loss of how many articles you purchase 20 articles and you are giving away 25 articles for the same price. That means you are losing 5 articles. Now we know that with respect to quantity profit percentage or loss percentage is calculated on the quantity sold. So loss percentage 5 by now here the quantity sold is 25. So 5 by 25 into 100. So it's 1 by 5, 5 20s. So the loss percentage here is 20%. Quickly take 10 seconds time and try to answer this question orally. The selling price of 45 articles is equal to cost price of 54 articles. Find the profit or loss percentage in the transaction. So let's discuss. Now here he is selling 45 articles. Selling price of 45 articles is equal to cost price of 54 articles. So we need to first of all decide whether there is a profit or loss. Now how many articles did he purchase? 54 articles. At the same price that is to get back the same money he is selling only 45 articles. So definitely he is selling less articles than what he purchased to get back that money. So he is in a profit of how many articles? 54 minus 45, 9 articles. So profit percentage or loss percentage in terms of quantity is always calculated on the quantity sold. So 9 by 45 into 100. So 9 fives 45, 5 20s. So profit here is 20%. So, if you have any doubts in this chapter, please place those questions in the comment box so that we will be discussing those questions in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, Rank Us Up, for more videos on aptitude. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. Download the Rankazab app now for full courses.